Welcome to Barron Public Library's Friday Read Aloud. This week, we're continuing our focus on the NASA Beanstack Challenge with a closer look at our very own planet, Earth. Earth, my first 4.54 billion years, by Stacy McAnulty, illustrated by David Litchfield. Hi, my name is Earth. Some people call me Gaia, the blue marble, the world, or the third planet from the sun. You can call me Planet Awesome. My family is really, really big. Happy holidays. I have seven siblings in my solar system. I'm closest to Venus and Mars. Some used to say I had eight siblings, but Pluto is more like the family pet. And then there are my cousins. My Milky Way family has billions of planets. I told you, big family. My favorite things to do are spinning. It takes me a whole day to go around once. And circling the sun. That takes me an entire year. My best friend is the moon. We hang out all the time, even when you can't see her. The moon needs 27 days, 7 hours, 43 minutes, and 12 seconds to go around me. I've timed her. I was born 4.54 billion years ago. I don't remember what it was like to be a baby. Who does? But I've been told I was a hot mess. Explosive, gassy, and very cranky. Then I started to cool off and things got really wet. It rained for thousands of years. I'm not kidding, thousands. I was soggy and lonely. A few islands popped up on my oceans, but no plants or animals. My islands must have been lonely too. They got together and made bigger islands called continents. I remember Ur and Nuna and the ginormous Pangaea. Then Pangaea split into seven separate continents, North America, Europe, Asia, South America, Africa, Australia, and Arctica. Things are always changing. As I got older, stuff began to grow. Life. Two billion, four hundred million years ago. Air. If anyone had been alive, they could finally take a breath. 470 million years ago, plants that can live on land. 400 million years ago, and then came bugs. 240 million years ago, my very first dinosaur. 210 million years ago, Yay for mammals! They're fuzzy and warm. 150 million years ago, birds. Did you know that they're relatives of dinosaurs? 130 million years ago, flowers. I'm a very pretty planet. And it's not bragging. It's true. And 200,000 years ago, Homo sapiens, you humans have big brains and walk on two feet. The time of the dinosaurs was one of my favorites. I mean, 
everyone loves dinosaurs. They lived with me for 175 million years until asteroid. It's not always easy being Earth. Volcanic eruptions, ice ages, major collisions. But on the inside, I'm the same planet awesome. I have an inner core, outer core, a mantle, and the crust. Humans have been super fun. No other species has ever been interested in learning about me. Other animals are nice, but they mostly eat and poop and never wonder about my amazing life. But sometimes, humans forget to share and play nice and clean up after themselves. Still, I bet you humans will turn out to do really great things. I learned so much from this book, and I know you learned some things too. Check this book out at the library and be sure you read the author's notes at the back of the book. Right now, I want to share with you the P.S. from the author's letter to aliens. I've made every attempt to bring you an accurate, brief, and entertaining history of planet Earth. However, scientists are making new discoveries all the time, and they sometimes make mistakes. I do too. Earth has many secrets, and I hope we can continue learning about her awesome past. Those are the words of the author. And a reminder from me that it's important to remember that science is constantly changing what we know. And that makes it important to keep reading. If this book has piqued your interest in space, don't forget the Beanstack Challenge from NASA is running through December 31st. It's not too late to learn a whole bunch about what NASA knows. Until next time, this is Miss Patricia. Keep reading.